four. Six feet, ten inches. Number four, Josh McRoberts. Number 15, At six foot nine inches, number nine, Wow Bang. Number one, Chris Bush. And number three. All right, welcome back to another episode of my NBA 2K15, my GM series with the Milwaukee Bucks. This is episode 12, I believe, or episode 11, excuse me. I'm literally so excited to start making up these videos. As you guys know, I will be doing daily uploads for the rest of 2014. As you see, Jared Sollinger, with no respect for his own safety, dunking the ball to start off the game, setting the tone for the Milwaukee Bucks. Now, Luol Deng setting the tone for the Miami Heat as well right there. Luol Deng has been playing great in the NBA and in NBA 2K15, as well as Jabari Parker's going to get blocked at the rim right there, leading to a Miami Heat fast break with D-Wade dunking the ball right there. So, as I have a quick break in the action, um... I just want to thank you guys for all the support. I will be uploading a video every single day for the rest of 2014. If you guys didn't know that already. And if you guys want to see episode 12 of this My GM series tomorrow, make sure you guys hit that like button. Let's hit 50 likes if you guys want to see that video tomorrow as Jabari Parker misses three right there. That's not really something you see too often now right here. OJ Mayo has the ball. Posts it up on Ray Allen. Brings it out to the three-point line. Calls for the pick from Giannis Antetokounmpo. Hits the mid-range jumper on the play right there. Making it an 11-14 game now. Right here. Trailing by five in this one. Jabari three ball. That's not even a three ball. I don't know why I said that. But it doesn't matter. He still knocks down the mid-range jump shot. Giving Jabari a total of eight points already in the first quarter. Now OJ finds Jabari once again. Missing the three this time. But it's all good because we've got Giannis down low who's going to end up throwing the ball away. Now, something I noticed in this game was Giannis Tentacumpo was playing absolutely horrific. He missed so many open shots and had a lot of turnovers in this game. And now, Ray Allen, come on. From beyond three-point line, way beyond three-point line, knocks down the three, giving the Heat an eight-point lead. But right here, Zach Levine is too deadly. As I say in every video and every my GM video I make, pick up Zach Levine, trade for Zach Levine, do whatever you can to get Zach Levine. He is absolutely a monster in this game as Gerald Henderson gets the first ever chase down block I have ever seen in NBA 2K15. Taking another look at it right here, just blocks Chalmers off of the backboard right there. I have never seen that to be quite honest, I mean, that's a great new animation they've added, I mean, I definitely never saw it in 2K14 and I'm guessing it's new in 2K15. Now right here, Chalmers holding the ball late in the second quarter, driving to the basket. We have no help defense at all, putting in the layup right there. Now, in this game, as you guys know, we do not have Larry Sanders. And Larry Sanders is still out with a dislocated elbow, and not having your big man really, really hurts you in the stretch, considering, uh, I mean, he's the one who holds the team together. He's the glue of this team. And not having him is just really hurts us. I mean, he averaged like three blocks a game before he went out with the dislocated elbow injury. And not having Larry Sanders is really hurting us. And it really hurts on the defensive side of the ball. As you see OJ Mayo trying to shorten this lead right here, making it a 10-point game. But too little, too late right now. 12-point game heading into half as we do get a block shot. Five seconds left, four, three, two, Jabari at the buzzer. And it's no good, but it's, it's okay, man. 12-point game. We still got another 10 more minutes, 5 minute quarters to knock out this game.
So I am back here in the third quarter with 4 minutes 48 seconds left. Brandon Knight gets fouled right there. Finally, that's a foul that I really wanted to see in this game. A foul that we weren't, we were not getting any foul calls in this game. Refs just weren't loyal for us. Now, Chris Bosch, who misses a rare shot right there. Chris Bosch is a beast in 2K, man. Hopefully, he can play great. I mean, he's already been playing great this season. I believe he did win uh, Eastern Conference uh, Player of the Week, which is pretty great. I'm happy uh, Chris Bosch is getting his career back on track. Now, right here, Jared or uh, Jabari Parker gets the pick from Solinger, puts up the three from the wing. It's Jabari. Of course, that ball's going in, making it a 10-point game. Now, Jabari one more time, hitting the shot. Jabari had over 20 points in this game, really emerging as a new NBA star. Now, Zach Levine hits the left-hand layup on the play right there. Now, I have Zach Levine in instead of Brandon Knight, and on the very next possession. Man, I love Zach Levine. He is a beast. And right here, once again, finds the open man in Jared Sonder. Perfect release. Perfect shot. He makes a jump shot right there. I am. A, I really love Jared Sonder, man. Jared Sonder, Sonder has been playing great in Larry Sanders' absence. Averaging over 10 rebounds a game. And I think, I believe, around 8 or 9 points. So not bad at all. And Evan Turner making it rain with a corner 3 right there. Making it a 2-point game. So 54-56. Zach Levine tying it up. 56 apiece. So with 4 minutes and 30 seconds left, it's a close game and we all know Jabari has to be the key for the Bucks to win this game as he finds Zach Levine. Zach Levine kicks it to Gerald Henderson, knocking, missing the shot, but Sonder is there making the dunk, misses the dunk, but ends up getting it to go. And the reason I don't have Brandon Knight in is because uh, he was he had foul trouble in this game. I believe he had four fouls in the third in the second quarter. So we decided to sit him out for most of this game. And Zach Levine was playing great. So there was no reason to put Zach Levine on the bench. And Brandon Knight was having kind of an off night. So Zach Levine really did step up tonight, which I'm very proud of him. I'm, I'm glad he did that. Now with two minutes left, Sondra has a big free throw right here. Makes both free throws at the free throw line, in fact. Now they find Norris Cole, a.k.a. the Fresh Prince, knocking down the three right there, extending the Heat's lead to two. Now, Jabari getting double team finds Brandon Knight, who had just checked into the game, knocking down the jump shot, tying this game up at 64. So right here, Miami Heat next possession, Josh McRoberts getting the dunk right there. Now, if you guys haven't hit that like button, what are you waiting for? This is about to get good. As you see, Giannis, we needed that bucket. He misses a shot right there. That would have gave us, that would have tied the game at least at 66. Now, that gave a chance to Miami to capitalize on the play, getting the shot. But we've got Jabari, one of the best players in the NBA, knocking down the three right there. I love Jabari and I love how he's been playing this season. So with a minute and a half left, we are trailing by three in this one. We get a pick from Solinger. Solinger with a pancake pick. And Brandon Knight's going to throw it out of bounds, but it's all good because it was deflected off of Luol Dang's hand. Now, Brandon Knight gets the ball off the inbounds. We got to hit a three. I mean, no doubt about it. And Brandon Knight's going to turn it over again. And right here, you can't stop Mario Chalmers knocking down the layup. So, with two, it's a two-point game now. We're still in it. OJ Mayo has the ball. OJ Mayo kicks it to Giannis. It's a big shot, Giannis. No good. Giannis is going to miss the shot. That, are, that is two pivotal shots that Giannis missed in a row. That would have tied the game up for us. And he misses them both, man. And right here, we find OJ Mayo, the open man. Three-pointer misses it, but it's all good because Giannis, trying to make up for his mistakes, gets a nice put-back layup right there. So, 20 seconds left. Two-point game. We need a quick three. Parker has the ball. Jabari finds Brandon Knight. Three, ball, no good. And Miami's going to get the rebound. You think it's over. Miami's at the free throw line. Mario Chalmers, you think it's over. But that's not how we Milwaukee Bucks play. I built this team to come down late in the stretch and knock down big shots. As you see, Jabari Parker hit the biggest shot of his career right there, giving us, making the lead, just shortening down the lead down to one point. Chalmers would get back to a three-point lead. So with six seconds left, we need to get a quick three off. We call for the pick, and Giannis Attentacumpo sets the moving screen personal foul. And that is going to end it for this amazing Milwaukee Bucks comeback that we had. Three quarters in the making. Bucks took the, came back from 20 points down to nearly tying the shot, setting it into overtime. And Giannis Attentacumpo screws the game up for this entire team. So the question is now, 
to trade or not to trade Giannis Antetokounmpo.